This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA lab environment from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Patterns for Delayed 7-Digit Dialing, Part 1. In this drawing, we'll look at the patterns Enterprise 20 deploys for external dialing. We don't remove the delay for 7-digit dialing. We'll remove that delay in our no-delayed dialing drawing. Let's start with a quick overview and review. For an overview of the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, see our drawing, Dial Plan Build Overview. For basic concepts, see our whiteboard drawings, Route Patterns Part 1, Route Patterns Part 2, Dial Plan Hierarchy, and Class of Service. Remember our objectives for the Dial Plan from the discussion in Dial Plan Overview. In this drawing, we focus on the second objective, Dialing external numbers at work is just like dialing from any other phone, except use a 9. See Dial Plan End User Training for a look at this from the end user perspective. In this drawing, we talk about patterns, class of service, and a dial plan hierarchy for external dialing. We'll layer the external dial plan on top of the internal dial plan we discussed in previous drawings. We'll talk about digit manipulation separately in our next drawing, Outgoing Digit Manipulation. In this drawing, we add patterns for external dialing to the internal dial plan deployed in the preceding drawings. The dial plan we deploy supports abbreviated dialing at all sites, this is done, supports overlapping 7 and 10 digit local dialing with or without post dial delay. In this drawing, we don't remove the post dial delay for 7 digit calls. Supports the following classes of service, internal, local, including toll free, long distance, international, unrestricted, and no 911 versions of the above, and ensures that call forwarding, call lists, AAR, CFER, presence and mobility all work together as well as possible. We are using a modified solution from the Cisco Validated Designs. We'll talk about this one, the Cisco VE6000 CVD, and this one, the telephony using Cisco UCM CVD. These were available when we developed this drawing. The tables in this drawing are from the initial dial plan configuration and delayed 7-digit dialing spreadsheets. Everything starts with patterns. What do the CVDs have to say about patterns? Both the telephony using Cisco UCM and Unified Communications using Cisco BE6000 CVDs offer a choice between a 7-digit and a 10-digit dial plan. Here are the patterns from the BE6000 CVD table, an ANP with 7-digit local dialing. You cannot dial a 10-digit local number using the patterns in this table. This dial plan is applicable to an enterprise in North America that has no sites anywhere that need 10-digit dialing. An enterprise in North America that has no 10-digit dialing? That's crazy talk! Here are the patterns from the BE6000 CVD table, NANP, with 10-digit local dialing. You cannot dial a 7-digit local number using the patterns in this table. This dial plan is applicable to an enterprise in North America that has no sites anywhere that need 7-digit dialing. An enterprise in North America that has no 7-digit dialing? Even in large cities like Toronto, we still have 7-digit dialing. We don't want to tell our users they can't dial 310 bell. That's crazy talk! But not as crazy as no 10-digit dialing. Here's a question. In North America, we have a choice between 7-digit and 10-digit dialing. True or false? Of course, this is false. When you build a dial plan for the NANP, your real choice is do you remove the post dial delay for 7-digit patterns or not? It's actually a fair bit of work to remove the delay. In this drawing, we don't do the work. Enterprise 20 will enhance the patterns in the CVD and ANP with 10-digit local dialing table to create a more comprehensive dial plan. 
Our first pattern is for enterprise internal numbers formatted as an 8 followed by 7 digits. The 7 digits represent the site code plus the extension. We don't really have a pattern 8 with 7 X's. We have directory numbers formatted like this. These patterns were discussed in the site codes and patterns drawing. We have site specific translation patterns. These include site abbreviated dialing translation patterns to provide site abbreviated dialing at individual sites and off net to on net translation patterns to translate long distance off net calls to on net. Remember the translation patterns for site abbreviated dialing from the site codes and patterns drawing? And the patterns for off net to on net translations from the site codes and patterns drawing? We have two patterns for emergency numbers. The 9.0 SRMD and the Cisco validated designs all recommend having both 911 and 9.911 patterns. We have a pattern for service codes 211, 311, 411, and so on. We include seven digit patterns for dialing seven digit local numbers. We've made sure that these patterns won't cause post dial delay for the shorter service codes. We need 10 digit patterns for dialing 10 digit local numbers. These patterns were all discussed in some detail in the Route Patterns Part 1 background drawing. Seven digit local calls will be delayed when dialing digit by digit by the 10 digit patterns. Enterprise 20 sets the T302 timer down from its default of 15 seconds to 5 seconds, so the delay will be only 5 seconds. Whether a 7 digit number is delayed or not will depend on how it's dialed. From a speed dial, a call list, on hook or off hook, the phone protocol, and the type of phone. Don't worry about all of that. The important thing is having your plan addressed both digit by digit and on block dialing. Allowing users to end dialing and avoid post dial delay by hitting the hash key, pound key, number sign, or octothorpe, whatever you want to call it, is always a good idea if the T302 timer is in play. That's why we include seven digit patterns with the end of dial indicator pound. We need a long distance pattern for dialing long distance numbers. We need two international patterns, including one with the end of dial indicator pound for dialing international numbers. We will also include a toll-free pattern. This more specific pattern allows toll-free dialing when blocking long distance. Here we are using the at wildcard with a route filter that includes all of our toll-free area codes. The Cisco validated design suggests not using route filters. We use them because it's easier to illustrate the dial plan this way but we'll show you alternate patterns to use in later drawings. We also include a more specific pattern for high-risk numbers to block them. We're done. These are the patterns we use if we don't fix the delay for seven-digit dialing. Enterprise 20 enhanced the patterns in the CVD, 10-digit local dialing table, to create a more comprehensive dial plan. Let's talk about important check and drop down boxes. Provide outside dial tone, urgent, and call classification. Here are the patterns we are using. The urgent check boxes should be checked for the 911 and 9.911 patterns. The Provide Outside Dial Tone checkboxes should be checked for all patterns starting with a 9, including site-specific translation starting with a 9. For example, off-net to on-net translation patterns. It's very important that all patterns starting with a 9 have this box checked or outside dial tone will play at the wrong point when dialing. The call classification drop-down box should be set to off net for all patterns starting with a 9. Translation patterns don't have this option, so don't worry about those. Here is the route patterns table from the delayed 7-digit dialing configuration spreadsheet. Here are the route patterns from the delayed 7-digit dialing solution. 
We sorted this on description, which we rigged to make the display match our drawings. Stay tuned for Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Patterns for Delayed 7-Digit Dialing, Part 2.